We smell fucking good. That's a fresh shot. No, actually, it's him. Wow. That, that smells. That's you know my standing? Whatever got outside. Okay. It was, I walked out there and it was warm. What? what? You might need to scoot over just a tad, so Ted is on. He's in, right? We want to be, and there we go. Now it's perfect. Now it's perfect. Up here. We haven't done this in a while. It's QA. I've got all the homies here with me Teddy, Crispy, Sharp, Chaos. All links in the video description below. But I, once again, I tweeted out asking you guys for questions. First one comes from Lexi Yo Yo. She asked, If y'all could move back into any old TK house, which one would it be and why? Marietta. The last one. I'm Marietta. Marietta, yeah. In New York. You liked the New York house with or without the pool? It didn't, didn't matter. Yeah. yeah. Without the pool, beyond. Yeah. I liked the Marietta house, but they kicked us out. Because they're jerks. So. Next question, when are we moving? Tomorrow. Yeah, right? All right. If you guys didn't know, we are currently trying to wrap up the lease here and then move into a better house that's more situated as we're only, uh, well, five instead of nine now. And we can get a cooler house. So that's exactly what we're trying to do. One with the pool. <laughs> we're not cool, though. We're starting like an ATL cloud house thing. It's going to be fucking sick. Well, we're going to have the best YouTube house on the East Coast that ever <laughs> Make it Motherfucker, easier. you gotta upload if you wanna go on YouTube grounds. <laughs> um, the next one's from a uh, dumbass. <laughs> Will Crispy ever get Gustavo? <laughs> I'm actually looking at dogs right now. Like, the past few days have been. <laughs> what? No, like, the past few years he's been looking at dogs. <laughs> no, the past few days I've been looking at Gustavo's online. getting old as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but when we move, 100%. So, you know. Bro, you're not getting a dog. Gustavo's a Watch. cat. <laughs> Fucking grandkids in the meantime, bro. Um, There's actually so many questions about Rainbow Six. About to be a lot of happy TK fans. Fuck TK! Is there a Fuya question? Uh, Fuck Fuya! I'm looking, I'm looking. <laughs> Alright, the next one's from Blitz. Who are the two best Fortnite players in TK? And to determine who's the best overall, y'all should 1v1 on Playground. <laughs> Uh, best Fortnite what? Fortnite player oh, sorry for What are you doing? We have the fucking audio, bro. <laughs> Wait, best Fortnite YouTubers or best Fortnite player? <laughs> player. Uh, I would probably think Sharp and Frankie are probably the best in TK. Frankie probably the best, Sharp right after. Crispy, you saw me build yesterday. I was gonna, just, I was gonna say Chaos and maybe Crispy. Views do not lie. No. Yeah, that's true. If you're going off views, Chaos number one and Crispy is shortly thereafter Whoa. again. Crispy's they're playing out going. <laughs> they're, they're playing a different game. Yeah, right. Honestly, I think Ava's underrated. Ava, let me know what you think. I mean, Ava. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I don't know. I'm not going to say that. I'm trying to like. <laughs> Let's discuss this in the DMs. Yeah. Yeah. Ava is really good. Fuya is really good. There's a bunch of people that are really good. Alright, the next one's from Young Brian. He goes, What's the most item that you own? Clothing or shoes or anything you own? The most expensive item? No, just the most item. I would say pop funkles individual. Socks. What tiny sellers? <laughs> yeah, socks. My dog, tiny sellers. I He's bought right. water, like two cases. Yeah, okay, I got a 48 pack of basketball, <laughs> basketball shorts. <laughs> Alright, the next one's from Blaze TK. Will the Goon Squad make a return with any more videos? Hey, fuck the Goon Squad. Oh, yeah, Crispy was Fuck the Goon, Goon Squad. Man, that Oz Squad shit right there. Get the fucking Oz Squad, baby. Yo, ladies, I got some thick thighs around here. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Come on, dog. He's got thick skulls here. <laughs> that's not all that's thick. Alright, the next one's from Nick. He goes, Who in the TK Fuel house has had the longest relationship? Longest cog. Probably Crispy, right? How long did you date Rachel for? Oh, I think you meant like two and a half years. Yeah, two and a half years. That's longer than you dated anyone? That's yeah. What? Oh, uh, I mean, I dated a girl in high school for like four years. Be honest. That counts. That counts. Yeah, not really, it was high school. You were beating cheeks, high school. I was only beating it half the time. She was a good girl, she made me wait. Wait, <laughs> half the time? Oh. Oh, she made you wait. Yeah. So you didn't get cheated on me. No, no, no. <laughs> 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 what? Hey, if you're doing half the work, she's gonna get, you know, it's interesting. Oh, it's cheap. Fuck! Oh, did you make any more? That's the headset we're giving away! You didn't give me a chair, dude! There's two right there. There's two right there. The yeah, that's chair fine. A lot of people asking, do you think Fortnite is dying? I don't know where that's coming from. Oh, most definitely for the pro side and whatnot. But really? Yeah, I hear the pro side's exploding. Well, technically, everyone is dying. I mean, I think it's, everything is 
Wait, Wait he classifies whoa. dying after a peak. Yeah. No. His ninja playing with Drake, his who's Kale's playing with Pokemon. Oh, that needs to happen. <laughs> <coughs> oh, David, why is Chaos the way he is? What does that mean? The way I'm, oh, like, how am I? Marvelous? It had to be the kids he went to school with because I met his parents, and that's definitely not, like, the origin. He's a Pepsi kid. Fuck KD. Alright, the next one's from <laughs> VTOL Salt. He goes, What is your favorite hobby or pastime? <laughs> Fortnite and church, dude. Church. Jerk it off. <laughs> but yeah, collecting state quarters. Uh, <laughs> I, had so you, I had the book. Did you yeah. have the book? Yeah. yeah. You guys did not. The little yeah. boy, the book. You put the quarter in? That I had a map of the U.S. and you put the quarter where it is. We did have Pokemon cards. I still have that book. I used to collect ball caps and like um, marbles. I used to capture bugs and make them fight. Bug Battle Royale, they were dropping it. I had like a little fucking like, <laughs> like a, like a, I don't know what you call it, but it had a giant magnifying glass on top and I just put them in there together and make them fight. <laughs> oh wait, I think I remember, I think I remember that. Yeah. I don't think they were meant for fighting. Mini though. enclosures. Mine were fighting. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's what that was made for. It wasn't a fucking cock fighting <laughs> ring. I caught a praying mantis one time, he dead his last of like four rounds. I think he got hungry and died. <laughs> Alright, Philip Adam asks, what is one of your biggest regrets? I legitimately have none. Yeah. I've made mistakes, but I've learned from all of them, so. I have the one regret from, like, still, you know, taking a shit after I shower. <laughs> it's, that's still haunts me, you know. I wish I would have spent more time with my family when I was doing YouTube. It's when you're grinding, it's hard, hard to, like, find, like, time to spend with your friends and your family. Yeah, that was really touching, dude. You know, I might have to say it. I'm probably gonna cut that part. I wasn't even paying attention. Jesus! Why are you gonna cut it just because? <laughs> that was the most heartfelt thing you've ever said. <laughs> you know, I wish I would have spent more time with my family. Yeah, I'm probably gonna cut it. <laughs> I'm gonna cut all this shit out. <laughs> the next one's from American McLucky. Is a burger a sandwich? No, no, we, okay, just, whoa. we just discussed this. It's no, this is a big one because the burger is definitely a sandwich. No, <laughs> it's meat in between two pieces of bread. It's a sandwich. No. So, hmm. In America, the burger is like the bun. No, not the bun. The thing inside it, right? People call a chicken a chicken burger, but it's a chicken sandwich, dog. It's a sandwich. In England, it's, it's a the exact burger. same thing. That's but a it's really not, good point. No, it's definitely because, a sandwich. Uh, burger is only a patty. And if you have a chicken burger, it's a patty of chicken no, inside bro, you, uh, you a bun. You can, <clears> you can yeah. have a. Okay. What about a sloppy joe? That's not a patty. Sloppy it's still joe a burger, but it's still on a burger bun. That's definitely a sandwich too. It's a sandwich. That's only a sandwich because of sloppy joe. Hey, well, not your opinion, but deciding for the world, I would say a burger is a sandwich because of the existence of no. a chicken sandwich. No, that's just North America. No, yeah. <clears throat> Anything that has meat and bread is a sandwich. No. So a PB and J is not a sandwich, is what you're saying? You go to Chick Fil A and ask for a chicken burger. No, I ask for a chicken sandwich only because it's it's chicken. All right, the next one's from Who's Bacon. Are you low-key happy that Fuya is gone? Yeah, that's a really sad and concerning question. Sounds like you're low-key happy. Yeah, it sounds like you're ecstatic. Not, I hear this, this tone in my voice right now. I'm happy for Fuya to go do something that she's happy doing, and I'm glad that everyone in the house now really wants to be in the house, and it makes the, like it helps the vibe out. Having someone that was like didn't like it here, harsh is the vibe, whether you know they're doing it on purpose or not. So yeah. low-key. Really happy for Fuya because she's doing something that she's really happy in, and then also happy that now everybody here, you know, really likes the house type thing. I'm not happy Fuya's gone, but I'm also like not sad. But then again, I don't really have too many emotions. But also, me and Fuya didn't really coexist because she was all the way, she was all the way up on like the top floor. I'm down in the dungeon, so like I saw Fuya maybe like twice a month. All right, the next one's from Red Hood with Activision announcing a franchise league for COD. Will TK be joining, and will Atlanta be the home? And finally, will your opinion as starting a smaller org, how do you feel about this? I was gonna actually make my own video kind of reacting to the possibility of Call of Duty franchising. Um, it's kind of like a double-edged sword. It could be really great for us, or it could be really terrible for us. I'll start with the bad news. Um, everyone that basically is in Overwatch already has kind of like the first right of whatever um, for the Call of Duty League. <laughs> That's Call of Duty fucking us! I think there's only two Overwatch teams that have a Call of Duty team as well, and I think that's Optic and Envy. Um, so, like, we could get pretty well pushed out of Call of Duty because, like, they all obviously have the, the first right, and then, you know, there's going to be other teams out there that are in esports with a lot larger financial resources than ours currently. 
um, that might be able to push us out for when they do that. So that's kind of like the worst bad news. The good news is, is right now, and the reason why you haven't seen a whole lot of videos from myself or just general everything, um, is that I have, you know, been traveling everywhere on phone calls constantly, you know, really trying to like handle getting TK an investor. Um, it is something that I've been actively pursuing for quite a while now and it has kept me extremely busy. Having Call of Duty franchise in a town, and especially in Atlanta, where there is no other real large esports team, when we're one of the more, I guess, notable Call of Duty teams, could really help us uh, further, like, you know, getting an investor. So, other than that, like, it, it, it's, it's good and bad. It's great for the players no matter what. So that's always a good thing if you support Call of Duty in the competitive scene. It's really good for all the players. But, you know, who knows what's going to happen with everything else. Alright, the next one is from Little Evil. If y'all could have any sponsor, who would it be and why? Bang Zaxby's. Bros. What? Zaxby's. We said Zaxby's actually. Zaxby's. We wanted to put Zaxby's together actually. They, any they would not have to pay me. It's Kraft. Kraft. Yeah, Mac cheese, Kraft. Anything Kraft. The, the conglomerate company Kraft would be probably the best sponsor in the world. There you go. You Just because they're fucking rich and own everything. Right, Sony. Sony? They fucked over mm -hmm. Spider-Man so many times. I would go with Disney. Okay, they Because yeah. they own absolutely everything and are continuing to buy whatever is left over. That or Amazon. Actually, I take it all back. Amazon. Boom. They'd be like the perfect partner. They have everything a gamer needs. Google. Google. Sponsored by Google. Sponsored by Facebook. Ah, ah. Sponsored by S. Jeeves. Jeeves. Jeeves died in 2002. <laughs> He watches hentai when he's alone. <laughs> and I listen to Vaporwave, so I mean, what can you really get? Yeah. All right, the next one, Sergio Ganera. What is your favorite toy from your childhood? Probably those little fish things. It was kind of like a flashlight. Oh, you put the marker into the blow thing. You blow it and like you make art and shit. I, I was a big fan of action figures, so I had like a bunch of Ninja Turtles, GI Joe, Batman. Power Rangers. Power Rangers. Down. I had all those fuckers, and then I would like wage wars in the living room floor with all the had Each figures. generation of Power Rangers. I Yo, had the WWF. Yeah, WWF guys. Yeah, crazy Bones. What the fuck? Y'all ever fuck with Crazy Bones? You, 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 you mean Dry Bones, like from Mario? Crazy Bones. All right, comment down below if y'all have if y'all fuck with Crazy Bones. I'm sure. I liked Legos and Kinects. To be honest, you ever play with Kinects? Kinects. They make those like, massive roller coasters. Like like after Power Rangers. GBX Jaws, that's why are your uploads so consistent? Uh, well, more so recently, it was I had two travel dates and a whole bunch of meetings and stuff like that, trying to wrap stuff up for Team Calvary, and then we also traveled for a week and a half. Uh, like it's been a it's been a rough month for for uploads. So, sorry. <laughs> yeah, you just fucked up a check at uh, fucking Saxon Fit. Guys, advance from Atlantic Records, new EP mixtape coming up soon. Do you think of these things to say and just wait for a time to say them? Because they no. never have anything to do with what they're talking going. about. Alright, so 2 chains. <laughs> is We're going to go to 2 chains' house next week. It should be pretty exciting. Um, Dude, we were going to go to the Rick Ross pool party, but no one was down. Why I can't believe it, bro. Rick Ross literally Rick Ross texts me. It's 9 a.m. in the morning. Hey, what's good, little cousin? Hey, man, you trying to pull through? Me and Sean were like, fuck yeah. This guy FaceTimes us this bad bitch is just twerking everywhere. <laughs> I was like, no, dude, I'm editing today. <laughs> I'm editing today. That is what he said. All right, the last one we're going to go with seems like a meaningful one by Blue Cobra. He goes, would you rather the general public think you are a horrible person, but your family be very proud of you, or your family think you are a horrible person, but the general public be very proud of you? The first one. The first one, that's obviously. That's the only answer, yeah. Honestly, that's, that's just generally how to to be in social media. Like, no matter who you are, there's a sect of people that think you're, you're a bad person. I don't, I don't really care who thinks about what I... What My I family probably, already thinks I'm a horrible person. Yeah, dude. I need to visit more. They probably hate that I don't ever visit. That okay, was My family loves me. I would go with the first one. Fuck the general public. As long as I know I'm a good person, fuck everyone else. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, yeah. part two of this question, would you rather your family think you fucked a goat but the general public knows you didn't. Or would you rather the general public think you fucked a goat, but your family... I want everyone to know I fucked this goat. <laughs> what do you mean? Because I'm fucked That's a nice goat. spin on the question, because that definitely changes things. I would rather the p general public not think I fucked a goat. What? Everyone's gonna know I fucked this goat. <laughs> I'd rather have my parents think I fucked I mean, I'd be the weird kid at Christmas who fucked a goat, but at least, like, 
We cool off. Yeah, but it's like the difference between being fucking weird around five people versus like everyone, everyone you ever run into yeah, ever. Who's ever fucked to go? No one, so hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There was a like close of ISIS people. This fucking village go. is in Pakistan where people. Do you know someone go. personally who's fucked to go? Per How would you know? I mean, one of the girls Teddy had over one night kind of looked like. You know what, go and we both fucked it. Oh. <laughs> Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this QA. Please don't, please don't report it or flag it. Um, go check out all my homies, all the links in the video description below. Please leave more questions in the comments below. I might go answer a bunch of them later on tonight. Um, but yeah, drop a like and then go watch another one of my videos. I was wondering what that sound was about upstairs. Next time we got, I'm drunk and I'm gonna stop ISIS single handed. I was laying in bed and all I could hear is, hey, you calling him a goat fucker? That's gotta be racist. He said he, the girl brought a goat over.